Today I've got here a ultra power bank which is capable of charging my MacBook Pro up to four times, my iPhone 11 Pro up to eight times and my Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition up to 5.3 times. This is the new Pro, I will leave a link down below so that you can check it out. And I am Roberto George, just in case you didn't know that. In case you are looking for Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home Edition or Pro Edition keys, don't forget to check out Keys Fan, where we can find budget keys and official OM keys. And with the coupon code, we can get Windows 10 Pro at seven US dollars or Windows 11 at roughly 13 US dollars. So don't forget to check the link down below. Now, in terms of the power bank, it has 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters and 2.5 width. It has this rubberized material which feels and looks awesome. And then it has here the ports input and output. We will have a USB type C input and output. It goes up to a maximum of 60 watts. By the way, it has fast charging, so we will be able to charge it in two hours. So, two hours, I will have enough capacity here to charge my laptop four times. This is really awesome. Now, besides the USB Type-C that will allow to input and output, we have a second USB Type-C, which will go up to 27 watts. We also have a USB Type-A, which will do 18 watts, and a DC in and DC out, which will go, depending on the laptop that we will be charging, up to 84 watts. Now, inside the package, it comes with all these accessories right over here, normal cables, USB type A, USB type C, but it also comes with a DC in and out cable and all the adapters that we will need if we have a older laptop. So if you have a cousin, a friend, anyone that you know that has a old laptop, then most probably it will fit. And in this particular moment in time, I don't believe that it's worth it to get a new power adapter. This will be much better than a power adapter because it will do a dual purpose. It will replace the power adapter and it will be a power bank and an extra battery for those older laptops. So this is a great addition right over here. Besides that, it has also wireless charging. So if I put my iPhone on top, it will start charging. And if I put the Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition, it also starts charging, but it gives me a message of fast charging. Now it does charge up to 10 watts in terms of wireless, but the Samsung is saying that it's fast charging, so I believe it. It has a button right over here on the top and a LED that indicates if it's charging and how much battery we still have remaining. And it also has a voltage indicator right over here that will show us 12, 16.5 and 24, but this one is just used if we are using the DC output to use with a older laptop. And in that particular case, depending on the laptop, we will choose 12 volts or 16.5 or the 24 volts. Also did a few tests on my MacBook, you know how I am always curious to measure and see. And I was able to extract a maximum of 40 something watts out of the 60 maximum that we have. And having that in mind, I also tested with my original power adapter, which is 94 watts. And the maximum that I was getting was roughly 70 watts. So this just means that the laptop protects itself, the battery in this particular case, and it doesn't extract everything at the same time. I do believe that to extract the 60 watts from here and the 94 from the power adapter, I would need to be ramping up some kind of software right over here, rendering or something like that. So that's the power bank or the power adapter would require extra power to charge the battery and although make the difference from the power being draw at that moment in time. But I was only recording the screen. Now, another great scenario for this is, for example, to power a camera like I'm doing right now. I'm using another uh, power bank at this moment. This is the way that I work with any camera for years, power banks, because 24,000 milliamps will be the equivalent, more or less, of 20 batteries that I've got on my camera. So it will last me for a few days without having the need to charge or replace any battery. But the advantage that I have 
with this one right over here instead of the one that I'm using at the moment is that this one will deliver power, enough power to keep the battery always charged. While that one right over here has a lower power output and what happens and we notice when we are working for a lot of hours is that it will not be able to charge as quick as it discharges. So that being said, hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.